You're watching the Southland Conference on ESPN3. It's day two of the women's basketball tournament in Katy, Texas, our quarterfinal rounds. As the victorious Islanders of Texas A&M Corpus Christi from last night will square off against the four seed privateers time on the Island University. Yeah, but yesterday in their big win, she penetrated to the basket and had two, uh, two shots from inside as Jones has three turnovers now for New Orleans on their last three possessions. You and I talked about this before the game, and we've seen this over the years. There is the debate, do you really want that by? Every coach ultimately will say yes, but the reality is a team that gets their rhythm and works out the kinks the day before often has the quick 11 from beyond the arc yesterday. Bomalu with that lone three. Jones will try for the triple. She's got it here early on. But Jones struggled yesterday early on, but they were in Katy before getting ready for this week. This is their debut in the Southland Conference Tournament as Keyshawn Davenport has shown improvement with this program from year to year. Finally, they show up this year and actually earn themselves a day off. Pablo strikes early for the birthday girl. You can't add some really great coaches in it. I'm leaving out somebody. I just named a few of them. Back inside the woods. See, anytime you call a timeout and get a basket of rims at UNO. When you think about all the tragedy that, they, that that city's went through, and then that they've had both coaches, Schlesinger and Davenport, two of them, one, two, one, one. So three on two at the moment. Booth out on the wing. Quick touch out to Jones. Her second triple here on day two. Great ball movement. Yeah, that's why I could do it, guys. I didn't run but three plays. I run plays for them. Oh, uh, great touch pass into Woods. The assist from Angelo. Thanks to three-point line. You know they having trouble getting into their offense. Nice fake. And yeah, that's a highlight for Kayla Mundy. Mundy. See the size of the Islanders there along the perimeter. They'll go inside the booth. Great offense, carrying the ball out. I thought John, I think you can get that shot anytime in the shot clock. I think you got to have a little more patience offensively. You're going to need a lot more from Randy Brown here. I think this, Brown has just scored two times in a row. Your point guard's got to know that. Take the ball to her. Well, you'll take that straight to the basket goes Monday second half. I'm talking about New Orleans at this time. Privateers back on defense, enjoying a 14-4 run. Pomelo lets loose again. See, when you enter 2-3 zone, you better find 15. This is Christy, Texas. Reverse it to Pomelo. See if she can get him. No, Pomelo's going to have a hard time scoring, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, from the bench. But she's still within her range. Oh, she, oh, hey, if you don't think she's in her range, you are dead wrong. I didn't recognize she was in. She's about the last charge call. Yes, and I think that's an obvious call. Uh, what a shot. What a start for Jones. Run a little ball screen. Come record this regular season with 123 denials. And it'll fall in for Brittany Bommelow. Why not her third? Yeah. But why is that? And Angelo trying to create another turnover. She does. A sprint the other way. And what a day it has been again for the senior Jewel Andy down to less than 10 with 10 to go. You know on a 6-0 run until now. Jones every time in this game. You, they didn't pick up Brown early enough. She just missed the best look she's had at the basket. Bomalu has a piece of the Islanders all-time record. And 20. You know almost giving it right back. Quick trigger, Brown. Capable at any. And she and Bomalu each with 20 points today. Oh, uh, what a letdown on defense. Wide open was Shania Wood. Davis with six to shoot. Gets her own rebound. Goes right back with the follow up. What a great play by Davis. You miss it, you. One and done, the rebound for Davis, and that should do it. 10 seconds and counting down. 
Boys Chadwick arrived in Katy yesterday without any wins in the conference tournament with his new home in Corpus Christi. The Islanders have won back to back. The five seed moves on, looking to dethrone last year's tournament champions. They'll collide with the Sugar Bears of Central Arkansas tomorrow at 1.30. And our South.